Now, a couple, Kate and Patrick, finally move into their newly renovated house, but soon discover that its history has a terrifying impact on their present. Lullaby by Francis Turnley. <laughs> it's not so bad, really. Wait till I show you the attic now. Here we are. Oh, wow, it's huge. Yes, these old houses have a lot going for them. From what we've seen so far, we're talking a lot of work. <laughs> and plenty of light, too. It's so quiet. Yeah, I think the last owners must have used it for storage. Do you know anything about them? Sorry, no. I, I think it was a school at one point. Uh, no, an orphanage, as I remember. Oh. And no one's lived here since? Not as far as I know. Uh, I, I think a developer tried to convert the flats at some point. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. You know what I'm thinking, Patrick? This would make the perfect studio. I could paint up here all day. Uh, you're an artist. Uh, not very well known, I'm afraid. Portraits mostly. Uh, well, there's plenty of room to hang your paintings. Have you had many offers? No, okay. uh, A few. Uh, interested parties, speculators, <laughs> much like yourselves. Uh, still a lot of money. I mean, the work this place needs. Uh, well, I, I suppose there might be some room for negotiation. That's if you're interested. Uh, you are interested. <laughs> well, we did it one month late, and I don't want to think how much over budget, but we finally got our own home. To us. To us. <laughs> it was worth it, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> and you were right. Hmm. The place has turned out even better than I expected. Of course, we can't afford any furniture to put in it, but I couldn't be happier. <laughs> and here's... Something I've been wanting to do all day. Oh, damn. Oh, sorry, sorry. That might be work. I've been waiting on this contract. Go on, then. You're all romantic. No, I'll be one minute. Don't mm. go anywhere. Hello? Terry? Hi? No! No, nothing that can't wait. I heard that. We can do that, definitely. Um, which operating system were you using before? Patrick. Well, I could start next week if you like. Thursday. I don't see why not. Patrick. S sorry, Terry. Could you hold on one second? Please, I told you. This will only take... No, 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 there's someone upstairs. Nothing. Kate, are you sure? They were in this room. They, they were right on top of me. No. <sighs> Well, the door was closed. Windows are locked, too. There's no other way in. But I heard someone. Kate. No, no, no. Don't look at me like that. I know what I heard, Patrick. Footsteps. They were soft at first, then heavy, like... like somebody was being chased. Well, there's nothing now. All I can think is that something's got trapped under the floorboards. Like what? Well, I don't know. A rat or something. I really don't think... I'll ring the exterminator in the morning. And the ring Terry back too. What is Brought you a cup of tea. Do you know those stairs will be the death of me? Shh, shh. What? Listen. What? L look, do you want this here or not? Yeah, sorry. It's it's just, I, I thought I heard... Uh, look, I, I was probably just daydreaming. Mm. Mm, thank you for this. Not like you to be so considerate. Well, uh, I had to make one for the exterminator anyway. I knew it. <laughs> Any joy, then? Uh, we pulled up a couple of floorboards. No sign of any droppings. He's taking a look around. It's warm up here, isn't it? Mm, cosy. You know, yesterday was the first time we turned on the heating. Mm, so? Well, it's an old house. Those noises you heard could have been just the wood expanding. Well, I suppose... Makes sense now. I guess this old place will take some getting used to. 
A bit like you, really, huh? Be careful, you'll smudge the paint. Sorry. So, who's this, then? No idea. She just sort of came to me. <laughs> Those eyes. <laughs> it's like they're looking into me. I know. It's like she's just taken on a life of her own. Actually, I'm quite pleased with it. Might hang it up in the bedroom. Oh, no. I wouldn't want her looking at me all the time. Charming. Uh, what time is it? Uh, almost four. Oh, he charges by the hour. I'll tell him to call it a day. Save some money. Uh, well, well, at least let him finish his tea, Patrick. Hello? Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Hello? Can you hear me? You knew someone would come. I said so. Who is this? We've been waiting here so long. Play with us. Stay with us. We'll hide in the dark. Who is this, please? Were you looking for someone? Stop that. This isn't funny. It was probably just some kids fooling around. No. Don't you believe me? Uh, oh. I'm not saying that, but uh, you've been through a lot this last year. This has got nothing to do with that. I'm better now. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Hey, hey. Come here. I'm sorry about this. It's just... I was so sure. Kate, it was a phone call. Forget about it. All right, all right. I heard you the first time. Surprise! Hannah... Oh, I like the new case. Very nice. Who is it, Patrick? It's your sister. I can't help noticing the suitcases. There's more in the cab. Also, I haven't paid him. Would you mind? <laughs> Seems I don't have a choice. Oh, hello. Hi. Well, look at you. And you. How's life on campus, then? Studying hard, I hope. A uh, slight complication there. Oh. Now, this is going to sound a lot worse than it is. Temporary suspension. Why don't they just expel her and be done with it? For disagreeing with her lecturer. <sighs> it's hardly a hanging offence. She threw a bucket of paint at him. She was making a point. Hannah's always been opinionated. Is that what you call it? It's only for a week or so. Ever since Mum... I'm the only family she's got. I've told her to be on her best behaviour. You, you won't even know she's here. You were saying... I can't get over the size of this place. <laughs> at least you'd have plenty of room for children. Well, let's take things one step at a time. <laughs> you know, Patrick, sorry about the music. Is he still upset? It's fine, really. I'm glad you're here. We both are. We don't see enough of you. How is the psychiatry going? Psychology? You always get it wrong. Sorry. Mum would have been proud, though. I mean... Well, you know what I mean. What's up there? Oh, my studio. Well, that's what I'm calling it. Come on, I'll show you. Wow, not bad, eh? You know, I can't even hear the phone up here. It's perfect. No distractions, so I can just paint all day. Sometimes I forget myself. I must get lonely, though. No, not really. This is going to sound silly. Go on. Well, sometimes I feel like someone's up here with me. You know, like a presence. Watching. Sometimes I think it's Mum. Kate. I'm sorry. What am I like? Me is supposed to be the big sister. <laughs> Fine. I miss her too. Hello, who's this then? Don't ask. I started painting her and can't seem to stop. It's almost like she's painting herself. There's something about her, isn't there? Oh, 
Keys. Keys. What's wrong? You're freezing. I can breathe. It's okay. You're all right. You had a bad dream, that's all. It was uh, like there was a, a pillow over my face. I could feel someone on top of me pressing down on me. Didn't you hear it? What? Someone humming. It was like, I don't know, a, a lullaby. You must have heard it. Case, you dreamt it. No. If someone was in here, don't you think I'd have noticed? It just felt so real, that's all. Uh, I could ring Dr. Buckley in the morning, make an appointment. No. No, I'm finished with all that. No, you're right, it, it was just a bad dream. Go back to sleep. Hi, oh, Paul. <laughs> Thanks for cooking breakfast, mm. Hannah. You really shouldn't have. Yeah, there's nothing, anything to help out. More tea? Oh, I'm fine for now, thanks. Are you two sleep all right? Actually... They both slept like logs. Thanks for asking. Oh, and that'll be those art supplies I've been waiting on. Uh, do you want me to... Honestly, Patrick, I think I can manage. I'll finish your breakfast. You don't have to hold her hand the whole time, Patrick. <laughs> I'm just looking out for her, that's all. Recently she's been... What? Nothing. It's been almost a year since Mum. She's over it now. Just let her be. <laughs> you've hardly been here one day and already you think you've got her figured out. The big psychologist. You haven't even graduated yet. I think I know my sister better than you. <sighs> Kate's still fragile. Deep down she's still recovering. She's not over the loss yet. Now who's acting the psychologist? Kate had a breakdown, Hannah. I'm sorry, but that's what it was. And I'm not having things go back to how they were before. And that's why we bought this house. It's a new start for both of us. We're going to be late for work. Keep an eye on her, would you? If you're going to be staying here, at least make yourself useful. Thanks for helping me bring all that up, Hannah. These supplies should see me through to next year. Do you want a drink, then? Actually, I, I'm a bit sweaty. Is it okay if I have a shower? Sure. I'll see if I can sort out some lunch. A sandwich is okay. Great. <laughs> you know, I've really missed having you around. Starting to think you should get suspended more often. Careful, I might start getting ideas. <laughs> Are you? We're hiding. Please. What do you want? Hello? She's coming. Don't let her catch up. She'll yeah. put us to sleep. Help us, us, help us. Oh, stop. Stop that. Please, why are you doing this? I can't get the shower. Stop. Kate? Stop it. Kate, oh my. What is it? What's wrong? It's coming from inside the wall. What is? Kate, what happened? Strong tea, best I can do. You were all out of brandy, sorry. Thanks. Look at me, I'm shaking. Hey, you had a bit of a scare, that's all. Mm. I did hear them, Hannah. I believe you. Now, if you're just saying that to be nice. I'm not. I've always had an open mind, Kate. Some of us talk about this kind of stuff at uni. These children you heard, how old did you say? I don't know. Maybe five, six. And the woman? Couldn't say. The children were scared of her, though. That lullaby. I heard the same thing last night. Have you heard anything else? Well, there were the footsteps. Patrick said it was probably just the heating. I, I convinced myself he must be right. I think we need to find out more about this place. Whoever lived here. Was there anything here when you moved in? Letters, possessions, something? No, no nothing like that. Well, then we'll just have to do a little digging. We could try the public records office, see if there's anything on file. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. It's just such a relief someone believes me, that's all. Are you sure you don't want to call Patrick? No. It's not that he doesn't care. It's just that he thinks this is something to do with Mum. He's already started mentioning doctors. Let's just keep this between ourselves for now. Oh, damn. What? We're supposed to be going out to dinner tonight. It's Helen's 40th. 
going to be back soon. So go. But what about the... I think I can manage, Kate. Besides, getting out of this house will do you good. I'm just going to pop to the shop before it closes, get my bottle. Well, make sure you get something decent, though. You know what Helen's like. I don't like just. <laughs> uh, I said 7 for 7.30, so don't spend too long soaking in there. Right. Where's little sis got to? She must have decided to stay in town a bit longer. Mm -hmm. I'll be back in a bit. Oh, heaven. Patrick? Patrick? hadn't forgotten his wallet. I can't make any sense of it. It was like I was someone else. Not me. There was face above me, at, at least. At least I think there was. Oh, I'm sorry, Hannah. I'm not making much sense, am I? Kate, I think the house might be trying to tell you something. Whatever you experienced, I think it actually happened. I don't understand. I went to the public records office. There wasn't much in the way of information, but I did find out that the orphanage was closed down because some children died. There was some kind of scandal. Everything was hushed up. Did you find out anything about the children who died? Who they were? No. One of the clerks asked why I was so interested. I told him about the house, how you'd just moved in. He thought I was joking. He seemed to think the whole place was knocked down years ago. Anyway, he said there were more files in the basement. Maybe even records of all the children who lived here. That's great. He said he'd dig them out. I'm going back first thing tomorrow. Patrick, just go to work. I can look after myself, honestly. I'm not leaving you alone. The last time that happened... I'm in bed. What's the worst that can happen? <sighs> Besides, Hannah will be back soon. She's not still following that wild goose chase, is she? Well, as you wouldn't let me go. Sorry. Hello? Ah, uh, Roger. Uh, this isn't really a good time. Ah, oh, I see. It's just I can't <laughs> really leave the house right now. Look, can I ring you back? Bye. Go. Kate, I already told you. I told you. I'll be fine. Just go. Patrick and Kate Sanford. Sorry, looks like you've missed us. Leave a message and we'll get straight back. Kate? Kate, where are you? I found the records. Two children died in the house. They were killed. A boy and a girl. Kate, you have to get out of the house. I found a photo of the woman who killed them. Kate, it's the same woman in your painting. Get out of the house, Kate. Get out. Just get out of there. That you, Hannah? Sorry, I couldn't stay in bed a second longer. Thought I'd sneak up and finish the painting. You won't tell Patrick, will you? Hannah? No. Please. Please, no. No. <laughs> I don't understand. Why won't she wake up? Well, we're still running tests, but we think your wife slipped into a coma. We're hoping it's short term. You'll notice the movement behind the eyes there. You see it? Yes. 
she's dreaming. Well, that's good. It means there's something going on in there. Her mind's active. We have to hope it stays that way. Patrick, I came as soon as I got your message. Kate, oh no, what happened? Patrick, wait, just wait. Why should I? Everything went wrong as soon as you turned up. No, no, it didn't. It all started when you moved into the house. Oh, not this again. Look at this photo. Patrick, please. <sighs> it's a group of children standing in front of a house. So what? We knew it was an orphanage. Look at the woman standing at the end, her hands together. It's the woman in Kate's painting. Maybe. So Kate saw the photo somewhere else. Remember her. Patrick, we both know that's not true. This woman killed two children. And the way they were killed. Suffocation, drowning, it's all here. Patrick, please. I think I've heard enough, Anna. The children spoke with Kate. They're still in the house. And the woman. She did this to Kate. If anyone's responsible for what happened to Kate, it's you thinning her head with all this. You knew she wasn't well. That's not fair. Get your things, Anna. I don't want to find you at the house when I get back. Hello? Hello? Kate? Oh, goodness. I'm so glad to hear your voice. Yes. Yes, I'm here. D -d Don't worry. I'm coming, Kate. C can you hear me? Who are you talking to? Kate? Where are you? I want to speak to my wife. Hello? Hello? I'm telling you, my wife rang me. I spoke to her. Perhaps you were mistaken. You were at her bedside almost two days. By the time you got home, you must have been exhausted. Kate was trying to tell me before. I, I didn't believe her. I didn't listen. But there was someone there with her. And she was so frightened. I'm not sure I understand. No, but I think someone else will. Hannah, thanks for coming. Thanks, Kate. There's been no improvement. She did ring me. I believe you. Has she tried again? No. I've been waiting by the phone. This started about an hour ago. Hannah... I don't know what to do. The woman was called Ethna Lyons. She worked here as a nursemaid. Now, you said you heard Kate talking to someone called Laura. Yes. Here, look. December the 4th, 1930. Laura Hansen, five years old. She turned in the bath. Was that when Lyons was found out? No. It was put down to a tragic accident. No one even suspected until she was caught suffocating a boy in his sleep. Jack Marlowe. He was six. Look, it's all in the press cuttings. Why would she do this? Both of the children were cripples. At the time, there wasn't much that could be done. They were just left at the orphanage. Abandoned. No one would take them. They were here almost their whole lives. They're still here. Kate, too. I don't understand. Kate's not dead. It's her spirit. Somehow she's got trapped in the house. She can't find her way out. Limes died here too, didn't she? Yes. When she got caught, the rest of the staff locked her in the attic while they waited for the police. By the time they arrived, she'd hanged herself. The orphanage was closed down a couple of months later. Is there anything we can do? We have to tell them to move on. If that happens, I think Kate will come back to us. Kate heard the children. She talked to them. Maybe we can do the same. Kate? Kate, they're coming. Kate, it's Hannah. Can you hear me? Hannah? That's her. It's really her. Kate? Kate! Patrick! Kate, you need to come back to us. You have to wake up. Don't go. You promise. Wake up, Kate. You need to... It's dark here. I keep trying to get away. I can't... Kate, 
away. Just don't go. Can you hear me? Case? Here. Help me, Patrick. Patrick! Case? No. It's you, isn't it? Please, let my wife go. She's got nothing to do with this. What happened to you? You died. Remember? Don't you remember? No. You, the children, you all died. You died a long time ago. Jack, Laura, I'm sorry. You shouldn't be here. Please. You all died. I'm sorry. It's time to move on. Let Kate go. Let go of her. Leave this house. Leave us. It's over. They've gone, passed over. Can you feel it? Yes. Yes. Hello? Yes. When? Tell her I'm coming straight over. Thank you. That was the hospital. Kate's awake. They said she just opened her eyes and woke up. <laughs> it worked just like you said. Where is she, Hannah? They must have moved her. There. Kate. Thank heaven you're all right. I was so worried I would lost you. Hold me. Yes. It's all right. I'm here. I'm free. Yes. Kiz, why are you speaking like that? I don't understand. She sounds like... Oh, no. Oh, please, no. She tricked us, Patrick. That's not Kate. Stop. Stop that. Where's Kate? What have you done with her? I am so sorry. Please, where is she? Oh, no. Kate. Kate. What have I done? In Lullaby, Kate was played by Tara Flynn, Patrick by Hugh Lee, and Hannah by Jodie O'Neill. Laura was Eva McKeown, Jack was Dara Corcoran, Clive and the Doctor David Ireland, and Etha Lines, Kathy Belton. Lullaby was written by Francis Turnley and directed by Heather Larmer. That was creepy. After the weekend, we begin a three-part adaptation of James Follett's Rules of Asylum, first broadcast in 1973. BBC Radio 4 Now it's my life in five songs. I kind of don't Who is this, please? Were you looking for someone? <laughs> Stop that. This isn't funny. It was probably just some kids fooling around. No. Don't you believe me? Uh, oh. I'm not saying that, but uh, you've been through a lot this last year. This has got nothing to do with that. I'm better now. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Hey, hey. Come here. I'm sorry about this. It's just... I was so sure. Kate, it was a phone call. Forget about it. Right. 
All right. I heard you the first time. Surprise! Hannah. Oh, I like the new case. It's very nice. Who is it, Patrick? It's your sister. I can't help noticing the suitcases. There's more in the cab. Also, I haven't paid him. Would you mind? <laughs> Seems I don't have a choice. Oh, Hannah. Oh, hey. mm. Well, look at you. And you. How's life on campus, then? Studying hard, I hope. Uh, they were in this room. They, they were right on top of me. Well, the door was closed. Windows are locked, too. There's no other way in. But I heard someone. Jeez. No, no, no. Don't look at me like that. I know what I heard, Patrick. Footsteps. They were soft at first, then heavy, like... like somebody was being chased. Well, there's nothing now. All I can think is that something's got trapped under the floorboards. Like what? Well, I don't know. A rat or something. Uh, I really don't think... I'll ring the exterminator in the morning. <sighs> and the bell rings Harry back, too. What do you Brought you a cup of tea. Do you know those stairs will be the death of me? Shh, shh. What? Listen. What? L Luke, do you want this here or not? Yeah, sorry. It's it's just, I, I thought I heard... Uh, look, I, I was probably just daydreaming. Mm. Mm. Thank you for this. Not like you to be so considerate? Well, uh, I had to make one for the exterminator anyway. I knew it. <laughs> Any joy, then? Uh, we pulled up a couple of floorboards. No sign of any droppings. He's taking a look around. It's warm up here, isn't it? Mm, cozy. You know, yesterday was the first time we turned on the heating. Mm, so? Well, it's an old house. Those noises you heard could have been just the wood expanding. Well, I suppose... Makes sense now. I guess this old place will take some getting used to. A bit like you, really. Huh? <laughs> Careful, you'll smudge the paint. Sorry. So, who's this, then? No idea. She just sort of came to me. <laughs> Those eyes... It's like they're looking into me. I know. It's like she's just taken on a life of her own. Actually, I'm quite pleased with it. Might hang it up in the bedroom. Oh, no. I wouldn't want her looking at me all the time. Charming. Uh, what time is it? Uh, almost four. Oh, he charges by the hour. I'll tell him to call it a day. Save some money. Uh, well, well, at least let him finish his tea, Patrick. Hello? Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Hello? Can you hear me? We knew someone would come. I said so. Who is this? We've been waiting here so long. Play with us. Stay with us. That's if you're interested. Uh, you are interested. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, well, we did it. One month late, and I don't want to think how much over budget, but we finally got our own home. To us. To us. <laughs> it was worth it, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> and you were right. Hmm. The place has turned out even better than I expected. Of course, we can't afford any furniture to put in it, but I couldn't be happier. <laughs> and here's something I've been wanting to do all day. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, sorry, sorry. That might be work. I've been waiting on this contract. Go on, then. You're all romantic. No, I'll be one minute. Don't mm. go anywhere. Hello? Terry? Hi? No! No, nothing that can't wait. I heard that. We can do that, definitely. Um, which operating system were you using before? Patrick. Well, I could start next week if you like. Thursday. I don't see why not. Patrick. S -s Sorry, Terry. Could you hold on one second? Please, I told you. This will only take... No, 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 there's someone upstairs. Nothing. 
Casey is sure. Now, a couple, Kate and Patrick, finally move into their newly renovated house, but soon discover that its history has a terrifying impact on their present. Lullaby by Francis Turnley. <laughs> it's not so bad, really. Wait till I show you the attic now. Here we are. Oh, wow, it's huge. Yes, these old houses have a lot going for them. From what we've seen so far, we're talking a lot of work. <laughs> and plenty of light, too. It's so quiet. Yeah, I think the last owners must have used it for storage. Do you know anything about them? Sorry, no. I, I think it was a school at one point. Uh, no, an orphanage, as I remember. Oh. And no one's lived here since? Not as far as I know. Uh, I, I think a developer tried to convert the flats at some point. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. You know what I'm thinking, Patrick? This would make the perfect studio. I could paint up here all day. Well, you're an artist. Uh, not very well known, I'm afraid. Portraits mostly. Uh, well, there's plenty of room to hang your paintings. Have you had many offers? No, okay. uh, A few. Uh, interested parties, speculators, <laughs> much like yourselves. Uh, still a lot of money. I mean, the work this place needs. Well, I, I suppose there might be some room for negotiation. <laughs> 